Hello everybody, this is Mika from DMCX.com and today in this video I'm going to talk about the bike of Nils Polit, the German rider racing for the team Israel Startup Nation. Before I go along with my speech about the bike size and geometry, I want to, to warn you this is a very nerdy content, there is no footage of the rider riding his bike, there is no picture of the rider, no picture of the bike, it is only about nerdy as you can get talking about the bike size, bike geometry and the rider size and how he does fit on his bike. So I don't want to waste anybody's time. If you are looking for nerdy stuff, please stay here and let's go with reviewing the bike of Nils Polit. Right, so Nils is racing for the team Israel Startup Nation. This is a pretty much a new team and it's composed with uh, ex excellent riders, including Nils Polit and his uh, good friend, Andre Greppel. They used to live in the same town and, and they've been riding a lot together. So, they, they are, um, so it, it is beneficial to Nils because r r riding with a top, top gun sprinter like Andre Greppel, you do learn a lot. But Nils is not a sprinter. He's very fast sprint at a sprint. He's fast at climbing. And he's also really fast at time trial, but he's not one uh, specific uh, type of rider. He's he's more like uh, actually what we call in in the cycling jargon. He's a classic type of rider, which means he's excellent at all of those things. And he's uh, actually he got a, f a big engine, as we would say, meaning he can bring he can turn big gears at a high rate for a long time. So he's very good at time trial, remember? But because he's also good at climbing, so it, it's perfect for those hilly classic rides. So why I'm saying this is because this is the reason why Nils is not racing on the factor one, like aero type of bike, like do Andre Greppel for sprint. Nils is racing on the factor O2 VAM, which is the, the, the model which is more designed for climbing for the mountain stage. So this is a sub 700 gram frame. This is very, very light for it frame. So this is the reason why Nils is racing on this frame. So that's, that's why uh, I took the, the time to explain the reason of the why. So Nils is, race is, first of all, Nils is very tall. He's 1 meter 92 tall. So, which is relatively tall, he is racing on the size 58 centimeter, which is the XL size. There is one more size to the factor line, which is the 60 centimeter. So, here again, as I'm seeing again, because in most of my videos and most of my reviews, I'm seeing the same thing. Pro riders tend to pick up one size or even two sizes smaller than the recommended size for that frame, particular frame. So, Factor is recommending recommending the 58 centimeter frame to rider measuring from 1 meter 80 to 1 meter 88. So, if you are 1 meter 92, which one do you pick up? Well, it's all up to you because everybody is different. It depends of your inseam, your, your upper body length, your arm length. So you have to find a good the sweet spot. Keep in mind, pro riders are not riding for comfortable rides. They are riding for racing and, and they, um, they focus on decreasing drag. So lower front position and that's one of the reasons they tend to pick up a smaller frame because the, the head tube is actually shorter. So it does lower the, the height of the cockpit, the, the handlebar is lower and then the position of the rider is also lower. So it does in improve the aerodynamics. So that's one of the main reasons. The second reason is also because they, they can find their best fitting with changing the components as they like and they ride on a very nimble reactive bike. That's the three reasons, main reason of picking up one smaller size. So if, if you ride a factor bike or if you are 1 meter 92, please give me a, a shout leave me a message by telling me what do you write or if you write this model, in which size do you write? It would be very interesting and constructive for me to, uh, to know these things. 
Thank you. Right. Let's get back to the size of the bike. So size 58 centimeters has, a, as the name uh, shows, is 58 centimeters. It relates to the top tube length, which is 580 millimeters length. The seat tube is a rather short these days on, on those big frames because it's a slight sloping. So it is a 40, 54 centimeter or 548 millimeters to be precise, measure from the center of the bottom bracket to the top of the seat tube. That's the measure of that one. The, what I like about factor bikes is the geometry is really good. It, it does adapt with the size. So why I'm saying this is because the, the, the wheelbase is 1,005 millimeters. And on the this frame, the, the chain stay is longer than the smaller size. So it used to, on, on the smaller size, you usually get 406 millimeters. On this size, the 58 centimeter frame, you get 410 millimeters chain stay, and that gives a good stability for a big bike like this, for, for big riders. So they, they feel more comfortable and they can go fast. And that's also a hint of why he might be picking up a smaller size, because even with a smaller size, he still have a very good wheelbase length. So 1,005 1, millimeters wheelbase, 43 millimeters fork rake, giving approximately 56 millimeters of trail, fork trail, I'm saying approximately because, uh, well, we are talking about millimeters, so it's, it's just like five millimeters on or off. Um, head tube, I find it is 190 millimeters, which is rather short for a big frame. So this is also going to be very interesting to, to observe how the rider is performing on a, on a race when we have race starting again, as we talk. So specific to Neil's position, so he used a 130 millimeters stem, which is one combo. It's a stem and handlebar are one piece on, on, on that one. It is a, a, a brand, a sister brand of factor bikes for the components. So the, the stem 130 millimeters with minus six degrees, the handlebar is 400 millimeters handlebar. That's rather short for a big tall guy like this. It's, it's, but pro riders have some reasons, right? We optimize aerodynamics, decrease drag, and also, well, you, you, you can, when you ride in a bunch of almost 200 riders, it's good to have a shorter handle. Well, you can, you can go between bikes better than with a larger bike, uh, larger, larger handlebar. The distance between the saddle and, and the handlebar at this position is 642 millimeters from the front of the saddle to the grip of the handlebar. The um, crank length is 175 millimeters. And that's the specific of the sizing of, of the fitting. Um, now talking about the bike, well, as the team is sponsored by Shimano, is, is, so the, the bike is fully equipped with Shimano Dura SDI2 hydraulic disc brakes with the difference of the brake pads and disc rotor are supplied by Swiss Top, the excellent quality braking products from Swiss, as the name says in the brand name. So this is very, very good stuff. The team also use KMC chains. So those chains are the super lightweight chains, very, very good for shifting, excellent stuff. And that's pretty much for the, for the, for the bike setup. The wheels are also the brand sisters of Factor. They are uh, from the um, <laughs> from Black Ink. So depending on the stage, uh, if it's a flat stage or mountain stage, the rim height would be different. So we, we the, the, they have a range of 60 millimeters for most of flattish stage. If they go on the very steep climbing uh, mountain stage, uh, very steep mountain stage, it will be probably like 45 millimeters rim height. The team is using, oh, here is it interesting. It's, uh, this is only team using Maxxis tires. So they are testing the Maxxis tubeless tires and also using the tubular tires, depending on the race stage. So this is gonna be interesting to see it in action. The wheels are spinning on ceramic speed, ceramic bearings, excellent product. It's very efficient, I like that. The bottom bracket is also from ceramic speed. The head tube, uh, the headset is also from ceramic speed. 
So everything is spinning on, on ceramics bearings. The team is sponsored for the saddles, are sponsored by Cell Italia. So Nils is also racing on Cell Italia Pro Team Carbon SLR. Saddle, yes, uh, with the carbon rails. That's what I wanted to say. Is actually with a setback, the saddle setback is 25 millimeters, if you were wondering. And that's it, I think, for the bike. I think I've been through everything. If you have any particular question related to what I talked today in this video, please leave me a message. And if you are enjoying this, please get to the another videos, which are linked uh, around here, re related to factor bikes and related to the Team Israel Startup Nation, or actually about any other pro riders' bikes. Please enjoy. Thank you. Goodbye.